can uh, well, let's try this, see if this works. Well, always, always an exciting day here on Sunships. Oh, shipmates! Oh, yeah, it does work. <laughs> oh, what do you know? Lovely day here in Port Shipmates. Not quite as lovely as yesterday. We're here to see departure of two. Oh dear, we've already got a spelling. Quick, don't look at that. That was a spelling mistake. A rather a miss a ship identification mistake there. Oh dear. I'm not off to a very good start, are we? I'm not saying that I reused the graphics from yesterday, but uh, I did reuse the graphics from yesterday. Just let me correct that to P and O R Aviva. Or Avia or Ariva. Pick your name as you feel appropriate. Right, let's just save that. We'll do a, a bit, a bit of on-the-fly <laughs> editing. Right, let's try this again. Okay, da, 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 save that there. Yes, save, save, save. Right, let's go back to where we were. And what are we here today? There we go. Well, she waits. We have two departures. They're at six o'clock, and currently it looks like they're both going to depart at six o'clock on the dot. And we have two ships: the P and O Avia and the Britannia. Start off here. Uh, Avia's at forty-six berth, and that's, you can see that from here from cruise cam. This is forty-six berth, the Ocean Terminal. We follow quite a number of waivers already this afternoon uh, had a chap on one of the lower decks with a massive yellow hand and a flag he was very obvious so, yeah, so we have Arvia here at the 46th berth she's due to depart any moment I'll have a quick zoom in in a second and see what's going on and then at the other end of the dock up this way is Britannia there we go see there's Britannia and I would imagine that she'll head forward up to the STC-5, the container terminal here. She'll do a little spinsy roundsy here, a little pirouette, and then come on out. And by that time, Arvia will be sort of down here, some Southampton water somewhere. So we should have uh, a good show for this evening. Let's have a look. What's the, what's the going on out here? We have a, one of the red funnels is coming in on Netley Cam. And there's Arvia hoping to have a look. How's the sunset? Not getting get as good a sunset as yesterday. It's very cloudy today. And then how's the weather? Weather is pretty decent. Look at that. Very calm again. So you won't be spilling any of your rum based cocktails on your way to the buffet today. Uh, winds gentle, temperatures about the same as yesterday. Generally very nice. Not oh, I wanted the other one. Cruise cap. There we go. Oh, with a spider lock. That's welcome as a midshipsman. Oh, with there, uh, Anne Hafferton says, should be going out in Britannia, but had to cancel. Well, that's a shame, shipmate. Oh, with a Tizzy C. Oh, with a Mark G. Copy all the spanners in the chat. Oh, with well, a Darren Clark says, as promised, we're waving from the P and O signage. Oh, right, okay. Let's have a look. Oh, I can see lines coming in. Oh, I'm all a, my uh, slight error with this signage earlier is causing a little faux pas here. I think we can see the lines coming in. We can see the lines coming. Are you leaving? Bang on the dots. Uh, yesterday, Iona was delayed by a uh, what was this ship? It was Gretchen Spatch, the sort of ship on ship carrying ship the inception ship that uh, was delayed coming in unfortunately they couldn't get past so that was a bit of a delay there and then there was an oil tanker coming in which was a fully passed which was quite interesting to see not seen that sort of thing before and that would be, that would be, i tell you what i'm going to put the um i'm going to put the chin microphone on i put it on yesterday no one complained it was too noisy so it might be too noisy if it's too noisy just let me know otherwise you might better pick up the hoops and honks of the hall I sure because I can't monitor my output but as you can see here there'll be a slight forward motion first of Arvia we saw the LNG ship that was bunkering she departed about oh, I think it was about 5 30 quarter past five all the way from Rotterdam 
It does seem a bit odd considering earlier today there was a LNG tanker going to Fawley. So not sure of the logic there, shipmates, but I'm not in the logistical resupply of cruise ships business. I'm just in the business of looking at them. We certainly had quite a lot of traffic we could see arriving, I think, quite early. And then there wasn't obviously so much traffic here in the Port of Southampton. I think everyone arrived pretty much by three or four. There wasn't a lot of traffic after that. I'm not entirely sure what last check-in time is. I should probably find out. I will be off on Iona next Saturday. So I shall be live streaming from the ship. But in fact, our sponsor that we had from a previous live stream when Arvi arrived. Paul from Love Cruises. He gracefully sorted out my cruise for me. Uh, there's a link down in the description. So if you fancy a cruise from Southampton and you want to know where to go and what to do and where to be on the ship, it's your first time, Paul will most definitely hold your hand there. He gave me lots and lots of information. And then I just totally ignored him and played that uh, random cabin roulette. Which, of course, put me on the starboard side. So my balcony is not visible from the camera. Maybe that's a good thing, actually. But instead, I shall probably live stream from the top deck somewhere. I did see someone say they were up by the crew of p and cruise sign. Let's have a look at that. That's probably where I'm going to live stream from. Definitely some, well, looks like some more synchronized waving. Oh, with hands. Oh, yes. I've got multicolored hands the pinks, the greens, and the blues. Well done, shipmates. I must say, this season of cruising has started off with an excellent variety and very enthusiastic waving from many shipmates. I'm going to turn off itching cam because I'm feeling uh, uh, maybe you can't hear it on itching cam. I will need to investigate. Yeah, that's some good waving there. Looks like all the families on board there. All the generations joining in with a spot of waving. Yes, plenty of waving going on today. We'll probably see some more. Actually, I've not seen so much waving in... Oh, this is, well, just the last... Yesterday was uh, an amazing amount of waving. Not quite so many people out on their balcony today, I don't think. Probably, uh, it's not quite as warm. Yesterday was... Slightly warm out and there was a lovely sunset. E and O Arvia. She's off on a 14 day Mediterranean excursion via La Coruna, Valencia, Marseille, Barcelona, and Cadiz. And she's going to be pretty much shadowed by Britannia. Those off on a 12 night cruise. Actually, some of might be in front. Train is going to Vigo, Lisbon, Cartagena, Gibraltar, Malaga, and Cadiz. So, very similar destinations. Uh, slightly shorter cruise. They won't see Britannia for a little while. I don't even know if Britannia is moving. Oh, uh, there's some more waving going on. See, how we've got a, a waving special today again. There we go. Looks like a couple, 
lovely couple happy shipmates there destined for slightly warmer clients he's checking his phone he's saying we're not on there captain's ignoring us no he says no we are on there and now we just it's us watching us ourselves on our phones <laughs> and then just as i zoom out they'll start waving again there is quite some delay on cruise camera somewhere in the reach of about 30 seconds i think Oh, hello. What's down here? It's like someone's uh, waving their laundry or they're surrendering. That's quite a good, uh, quite a good technique there, I say, having a, a big white object. Definitely during the daylight, something like a flag or a towel is very visible. It's very good. Hold on. I'm not sure they're waving to the camera. They might be waving to friends and family on Town Quay. That would certainly give you the best view. If you happen to be in the Port of Southampton shipmates and you want to watch the ships depart, especially from Ocean Terminal, Town Quay would be my recommended ship spotting location. I would just uh, remind you that there is one of these camera parking systems, so be careful about driving on there and not paying for the parking. Otherwise, you will come a cropper. Oh, I forgot. Hang on. I've, I can introduce myself as well. I am the captain. And this is P&O Avia and Britannia departing Port Southampton. A bit rusty, all this. There we go. There's our chap with the massive hands and the Union flag quick look as he's getting his exercise in he'll be working up an appetite for the buffet won't he all that exercise Ooh. bending his elbow perhaps he's working up an appetite for somewhere else one of the many bars on board located 16 bars i believe located on Arvia. i think it's the same as iona very similar we are pretty much identical ships one is designed Arvia is designed more for the mediterranean market and I own up more for the European Northern Hemisphere market. Some subtleties in the design and the big open section as air conditioning all the roof opens or something. Something like that. Very, 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 very similar ships. One has better air conditioning, I think. Yeah, there's a good, uh, good crowd on the balconies. Uh, oh, I suppose, I suppose I should probably use, do something with the other camera, shouldn't I? Where are they? Let's have a look. Oh, it's uh, very bright over on Itchin. Look at that. There's, yeah, there, might, there might be a nice sunset this evening. There is some brightness in the sky. Plenty of clouds. You can see the water is very still. Okay, compared to a lockdown and post-COVID times when boarding on these large ships was encumbered by the testing for coronavirus i think now they've uh, got rid of all that the boarding is very quick and they're very slick don't seem to be any hold-ups at all i'll just have a quick look on the map in a second it looks like britannia is still the one along the dock side. Unfortunately, I don't have the radio to check on this sort of thing. All the shame. There's a good collection of shipmates all aboard. Ah, okay. Oh, there's plenty of people in the chat. Oh, there, Ellie Murley. And uh, oh, there, Phase Cloud. Ah, oh, there, Rab Nesbitt. Oh, uh, well, there's Stephen Salt. Uh, shipmate says he'll be sailing on uh, Iona April 29th. First cruise. Going with the grandchildren, mother and father. Whoa. 
I imagine it's a perfect vehicle for that sort of thing. Go up to the field, plenty to see, plenty to do. No one can get lost on board. I see the uh, little ankle biters, as, we've, as we were calling them this afternoon. I own a, I own a, I'm going to do this constantly, I'm afraid, because they look very, very similar. Avia is reversing out into the middle swing ground here. What was it, the lower swing ground? No, the lower swing ground. God, it's such a long time since I've done this one. I don't even know my way around the port anymore. Into the lower swing ground, she'll swing around and then head on down Southampton Water. Shortly, I would say, to be followed by Britannia. Oh, yeah, Britannia. It looks like Britannia is moving. Yeah, so we'll probably see Britannia in about 20, 25 minutes. Probably just as Arvia sails past Foley. Uh, if you look on Netlicam, there we go. We can see I mean, that's just so much ship, isn't it? Just massive, massive ship. Cabins, 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 cabins. Isn't it amazing? No tug assistance required today. Oh, you can say the wind is very fair indeed. Oh, plenty of people in the chat, so I've been missing that. Uh, were there diamond painting by sea? Which ship are sailing? Well, uh, well, uh, shipmate Diane, we have uh, two this evening. The P&O Arvia that's in view at the moment, and then in about 20 minutes' time, we'll have the Britannia. Britannia is currently at the other end of port. And as you can see, she's just, uh, just a little space there. Yep, just uh, moving away nicely. Boy, there, Ali McDonald looking forward to their first cruise in July. Oh, boy, there, Face Cloud. Oh, he says you've got some VTS info. Yeah, if you've got some VTS numbers, Face Cloud, let us know. I'm, unfortunately, I don't have reception at the moment. Be interesting to get to the runners and riders. That is. On the right hand side of the screen the top there is i believe that's the retractable dome which is the differentiating feature between arvia and iona got a slightly clearer view of the ship turning today yesterday there was a quite a few row rows in port Plenty of shipmates off on cruises shortly. You can certainly tell the season's picking up. In the winter, we only have one or two or three cruise ships a week, and now the clocks have gone forward and we're into spring. We're starting to get one or two a day. And there we go. It's a good view there of Arvia spinning around. It gives you some appreciation of the power of all those propellers and motors because the speed of that. Spinning around faster than I can swim. Thank you, Ellie Murley. Ellie Murley suggested I'll be forgiven for mixing her up with Iona. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I will definitely say at some point Iona. Oh. Trying hardest not to. Oh, there, Lynn Beeson has came off Britannia last Friday. After doing a transatlantic crossing from Barbados. Oh, well, then that's, uh, that's travelling in style. Barbados to Southampton. It's reliving the memories of cruise liners from yesteryear. 
and you can see here the name on the barrel. So now I've got no excuse to confuse Arvia with Iona. That's one of the red jets coming in there on the left of your screen. In the distance, oh, in the distance there, it looks like we have uh, looks like we have a lifeboat at Hamble at Hyde Marina. Let's have a look at that. Hmm. Well, it could be pilot boat Hampstead, actually. I don't normally see a pilot boat over there. Curious. I shall zoom in and investigate. Yeah, over on Highs Marina is one of the pilot boats and the these boats take the pilots to the ships as they come around the Isle of Wight, drop them off so that they can navigate the vessels into the port. And that's what they look like. And all the, as you can see the front of the vessel, there's a couple of railings and posts. And that's a bit of a platform that the pilot stands on while they're cruising next to the ship and they jump onto the ship or jump onto the boarding ladder and then navigate the ship in. Quite a dangerous uh, job and when, when weather conditions are really bad they have to uh, abort conditions conditions quite atmospheric here on itching cap See the red funnel ferry coming past. Go back to cruise cam. We'll probably see that coming in uh, in just a second. There's sometimes the different perspectives on each camera make it quite confusing to work out what's going on where. Now oh, here we go. <laughs> here is red something or other. Red Falcon. Red Falcon travelling very close to the dock head. Wow. Now, I don't think I've seen one that close before. Look, I'll show you. That's how close Red Falcon is. Right next to the dock. There, very close indeed. So giving Arvia a wide berth. Have that timetable to meet. Tourists having spent a lovely weekend on the Isle of Wight, or probably the entire Easter holiday. It's probably packed full of tourists there, I suspect. Lots of irate children complaining about a four hour car drive back to Sheffield. Although with any luck, they might have had a sausage, beans and eggs on the cafeteria on board. Fairly decent food on the Red Funnel. Thanks you here. Now Arvia is in forward gear. Shortly be going past the dock head. She's hiding behind all the multi-storey car parks at the moment for the vehicles that are loaded on and exported from the country. Mainly Range Rovers and Minis. Oh, with their Trev, says, uh, and they did the transatlantic cruise. They had a water salute when we left La Corona. Well, hey, that's pretty good. I've not seen too many water salutes when leaving port from here in Southampton. Maybe they're a bit stingy with their water salute. With oh, Ellie Murley saying that uh, Brian, the ferry there, playing a little fast and loose. Well, I think they are fairly seasoned navigators of the port. I'm sure they know what they're doing. High maneuverability on the Red Funnel ferries with the dual Vorton drives. Bow and stern. They can move sideways at the drop of a hat. And there's no wind out there, so fairly safe. Oi there, Adam Gaming says, when will I switch to Britannica? Well, I will be zooming in on Britannia 
in a little while but Britannia currently is at the other end of port up here at the upper swing ground which is where STG5 container terminal is and probably won't be on camera um, until about sort of 15 minutes or so I'd imagine so when she's on camera I will show up but until then we'll just have to put up with Arvia Did I say Aviva or did I say Ariva? Buses, car insurance, engines, or a cruise ship. I can't, I'm, I'm, I've mentioned it before. I think I've got away with it. I'm not, not desperately keen on the name Arvia. I think I, I like Iona. I think that's a great name representing a Scottish island chosen by the public. They had to reject uh, Cruzy McCruise face, obviously. Quite like Iona, very, very good. Harvey, on the other hand, uh, it's too confusing, especially for a simple minded soul like me. Let's have a look at the stern, shall we? See if there's anyone in those infinity pools. Hello, I look like we can see a flag going on there. Oh, all the party lights are on, disco's going. What's that flag there then? Oh, now that's a challenge. I'm going to put my hands up and say, I don't know what that is. Is it a specific flag for something? It's not a country, is it? And oh, they're looking at their phone. They're saying to themselves, we've put this out and we're not getting any coverage. It's the man with the captain. Why can't he see us? There we go. The penny's dropped. You'll have to explain in the comments, shipmate, what your flag means. I'm none the wiser. Oops, that's me. That's my fault. Oh, someone next door as well. No one in the pools. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll live stream from the bar at the back here. Might be a good location. Although if it's playing loud music, that wouldn't be very helpful, would it? Look how calm that water is. Mirror-like. Look in the chat, see if anyone knows what that flag was. Anyone know what that flag was? Fellow Dundee United fans. Ah, is that what that was? Well, that would definitely catch me off guard if there was a Dundee United flag. Less said about Southampton Football Club, the better I feel. Very calm waters indeed. I've had a couple of interesting flags today. Plenty of foam hands, quite a few wavers. It's turning out really well. Let's just zoom this camera out a bit, shall we? Yes, yeah, so actually, Kevin too is selling me the extra spell. Don't mean it's the Dundee flag. Excuse my ignorance. I'm not that familiar with a Dundee Football Club. I don't even know what division they're in. Got a pretty good idea what division Southampton won't be in next year, that's for sure. I 
unlike yesterday when Iona had to go a bit slow, I think Arvia has started to pick up the pace. You can see a decent amount of prop wash from the stern of the vessel there. See Arvia, Southampton. Not often we see a vessel with the port registry of Southampton. Pleasing. You certainly do notice how large these ships are compared to the other ships we get here in port ship it's definitely very large cruise ships lovely power boat there coming up the water that is that's a decent size as well a quick check on britannia shall we uh, let's have a quick look what's happening with Britannia. Britannia. It's Britannia there. Britannia. Oh, she's pointed the other way. Uh, she'll be heading her way down the River Test shortly. Be on that cruise cam. I would think somewhere in the region of 15 minutes, I would think. Something like that. And that's uh, that's the grain silos at the dock head there. We can't see much past the grain silos. Let's change camera, shall we? Let's see what's going on on itching camera. It does look like the uh, sun is trying trying to come out. So then perhaps there may be a decent uh, decent sunset. Certainly do notice the cruise ships looming on Southampton water. If you happen to be in the area, it gives you an example. There's some buildings, the grain towers there, and Arvia is just simply massive on the water. A towering cruise ship. Slipping past the dock head now, she'll start to pick up speed. Limited to six knots in port. And once she's past the dock head, where she's now, she'll be um, picking up to somewhere in the region of 12 to 14 knots. And heads down Southampton water. Tanks, takes a right at Cowshot's bit and then goes round the Bramble Bank. And off the Isle of Wight, off to uh, the Mediterranean. For a 14 night cruise. By La Coruna, Valencia, Marseille, Barcelona, and Cadiz. No, I may be complaining about the weather and the darkness and how good it is that we have sunny evenings now so we can see the ships. The only problem with that is now we've got sunny evenings, the sun is reflecting off the water. Never, never a happy captain here. Always something to complain about. It's, uh, maybe we'll get a better view. Cruise cam's got a better view at the moment, but the sun is out. Actually, no, I'll tell you what, what has a better view. Itching cam. There we go, back to fishing cam. There's a chap there in his kayak, enjoying the view. Great location there. Try and live stream from a, a canoe one day. Maybe a little ambitious. Who knows? Should be good Wi Fi signal. Going to get perhaps a, a decent silhouette. Fortunately, I didn't have any. Uh, num information on passenger numbers, but I imagine it's somewhere in the 5,000 something region of passengers, and it's somewhere in the region of 1,700 crew would be typical for Arvia. So, so yeah, look, how much, look how different the angle is with the light. The light is coming from behind here.
might just be able to kid yourself that you're somewhere in the Caribbean. Look at that reflection. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's not, not good for not to see anything, is it? Oh, hi there, Christine. Uh, it says I've just shown a app a bit like Flight Radar. Yes, uh, there's there's a number of them. I tend to use a Vessel Finder as Kevin Two's just there. You go, Kevin Two's giving me information. It's one that I contribute to. I provide AIS information, which is the location information that ships send. I have a antenna import picking up information and relaying it to the website and allows people to know where the ships are. I'll contribute to that. A bit clearer now on itching cam. Uh oh, hang on. Nope, missed it. Wrong camera. All right, there we go. Just checking on Britannia. Uh, Britannia's started moving forward. Should be on the camera. I'm thinking about ish minutes or so. Well, there, Dan Williams. This cruise map is another. Yeah, there's, got, there's quite a number of apps out there to, for uh, viewing cruise ships. Tom Griffin says, how big are the Ada ships compared to one? They're, some of the later ones are almost the same size. They're very... I think they have uh, very similar passenger numbers. Memory serves me. Serves me correctly. Uh, the older ones, it's like I think it's like quite a lot of the cruise companies. The older ships tend to be quite small, and then the newer ships are all getting quite big. I think most of the new ships we've seen in port lately, oh, certainly around the five thousand passenger number. Some are a little bit more and some a little bit less. Yeah, Britannia heading towards Mayflower Park. Let's have a quick look at that, shall we? There we go. There is Britannia. Just heading towards Mayflower Park. And as you can see, Arvia is down here. Oh. Approximately about a third of the way down Southampton Water, just opposite, getting very close to Netley Cliff Sailing Camera. That's superbly flat water out there. Surprised there aren't uh, more boats on the water. I was thinking more of yachts. So the wind is reasonably fair. Just a quick check of the wind. Yeah, only five knots, six knots. I don't think. Uh, I don't think no, no I'm on camera. Again. I don't think our yachting friends like a such a fair wind. Need a, a bit more puff for all their sails. Yeah, ah, there we go. We can see that our view is pretty much dead opposite Netley Cliff Sailing Camera. Hoi oh, there, Walter Clennon says, uh, what do I intend to do while cruising next week? Other than visiting something i hope he says uh visiting the brig i don't intend to visit the brig hoping to uh, get a guided tour paul dobson over from love cruise specialist who sorted me out with my cruise next week have a look in the description for a link to his website that's love cruise the cruise specialist he certainly concentrates on cruises from the port of southampton and has got a extensive detail of places 
to go and want to see where to book a cabin. He's hoping to coordinate my visit on the ship with some of the personnel on board, uh, perhaps allowing me to visit behind the scenes areas. I'm thinking of the engine room, the bridge, and maybe a cursory visit to the brig. Only as a visit, of course, not as a resident. I think it's picked up rather well this evening. We had a good number of waivers on Arvia. A lot of people on their balconies again. Weather has been pleasant. And Arvia's getting down to the Fawley Terminal. Tanya's getting closer to Mayflower Park. Currently at six knots. That's, that's the dock speed. Can't go any faster than that in the dock. I'm going to pair cruise cam for Britannia. It's one of the red jets there. They typically travel at a much higher speed. Somewhere in the region of sort of you know, 30 to 35 knots, depending on conditions. You certainly know if you have a fast boat on Southampton water, if you can keep up with the red jet. And if you can overtake the red jet, you've got a very fast boat. few seagulls out today. Well, I should go back to the chat. Oh, well, there Dan Williams says, did a tour of the bridge on Britannia back in 2015. It was a great experience. We got to ring the 12 noon bell and do the horns. <sighs> do the horns. Wow. Could do with a bit of hornage action. That would be great. I'm just about... Uh, Oh, someone says there's been complaints about the... Oh, Z, ZG68 says there's complaints about the Infinity War 9. Splashing over, seems Arvi has the same pool. Yeah, they're very similar to ship, shipmates, so, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, do you want your Infinity pool splashing over? Especially if your cabin's below it. That would be unnecessary rain on your balcony. I've uh, started packing the gadgets. Uh, I believe there's no luggage... Restrictions. So I've got a couple of lug, couple of suitcases of gadgets, and then a carry-on bag and a few clothes on board. Quick look at Britannia. Keep an eye on Britannia. Britannia is yep, just approaching Mayflower Park. Oh, probably yeah, probably another ten minutes, something like that. I would think. We don't have any other traffic day, unlike yesterday, where we had all sorts of traffic coming up Southampton Water, delaying the cruise ship departure. Oh, there, Alan says, what, six knots in miles now? Oh, it's probably about seven and a half or something like that. Yeah, something in that sort of region. Well, there, Willis Phillips said that got to tour the Independence of the Seas Bridge. Absolutely amazing. Got to press the horn button as well. All these people getting to press the horn buttons. I feel like I'm missing out. Moving the cameras about. Uh, there we go. 
Uh, oh, there, Leslie tell us where I'm going. Well, I'm going off next Saturday on Iona, visiting the fjords. I should be uh, live streaming from the top deck. I'd imagine somewhere near the PO sign. It will be a large departure until the authorities find me and throw me in the brig for contravening some sort of rule and regulation, I suspect. Tend to be quite good at uh, having problems like that. Superb conditions out there today. So let's have a quick look. Britannia inching closer. I would say Britannia is very shortly due on camera. There we go. Britannia right next to Mayflower Park. This is where the boat, Southampton Boat Show is. And that's where the Red Falcon has just docked. That 46th berth is just here. That's where I only left from. So not long now. See if we can see anything on Netly Cam. Netly Cam actually, strange enough, has the best view. It sneaks around the corner a bit. Quick look on Netly Cam. Mm. Yes, just <laughs> coming from the right hand side from behind the tree. Britannia also off to the Mediterranean and a very similar course to Arvia, travelling around the Mediterranean, stopping in at quite a few destinations. Britannia is a hundred and a twelve night cruise, Spain Portugal cruise via Vigo, Lisbon, Catania, Gibraltar, Malaga and Cadiz. RV, as you can see, is just going past the Fawley Terminal Head. This is the largest refinery in Europe. A lot of traffic there, a lot of tankers coming and going. Lots of flames as well, which doesn't seem appropriate. But during the refining process, they burn off gases that shouldn't be released. So you get a lot of flames there. And here we go. Uh, over on Netley Cam, we can see Britannia coming up on the dock head. A older and smaller ship compared to Arvia. Built in well, twenty fifteen and made voyage March twenty fifteen. Total passenger capacity of 3,647, which is probably 2,000 less than Arvia. Total of 1,400 crew on board. Probably better crew to passenger ratio, though. Top speed of 21.9 knots. Length of 330 meters. Arvia, on the other hand, 344 metres, so not a lot of difference in length, uh, but a passenger capacity of 5,280 crew, so quite a lot more people on board. Must be getting close to being on uh, cruise camp shortly, I would think. Let's see if we have any waivers. I'm wondering at this time of night, probably all headed down to the buffet, I suspect.
Or at least it's a lovely calm evening for their departure to the Mediterranean. Looks like there might be a, a bit of a sunset going on. Not quite as good as yesterday. Yesterday's was not bad at all. Plenty of dramatic clouds in the sky. It's supposed to be warm this weekend. Now it seems to have shut things down a bit there. Pretty sure that it's going to be just a minute or two and can you be on cruise cam? Arvia is all the way now down in Southampton Water. Look, sunny Southampton Water. Next to a, what is that? Some sort of very strange colour for a yacht. May require further investigation. What's that then? Looks like a pink yacht. It's not one of those uh, green piece chappies, is it? Anyway, here comes Britannia. Very similar colour scheme to Avia. It's all of the PO fleet rush around with these Union flag emblazoned bows. Few people in the balcony so far. I'm not seeing any waivers. Oh, yep. Yeah. No, I see some waivers. Good job, shipmates. Well done. Let's see if we can zoom in on these shipmates. Give them their 30 seconds of waving fame. Oh, there's another one as well. Oh yeah, there we go. Two waivers in one shot. The, the towel technique works well. Also, so does the brightly red coloured top. I suggest that could be a lady shipmate. Certainly that was a great choice of attire there. Let's get the uh, towel back in. Yep, we have a couple of shipmates with a towel. Uh, the old circular wave motion. Excellent choice. didn't know we were going to have any waivers on Britannia. I hadn't seen any in the chat. Normally people in the chat mention that they will be waving away. Oh, that's excellent. It's definitely the season of waivers. As you can see, it's it says Britannia on the front of this one as well. It just makes life easy for me. Oh, I can see a flag as well. Where's the flag? Up here. Let's have a look. See if we can see anyone waving their flag. There we go. That looks to me like an English flag and something else. Oh, and a Union Jack above it. Oh, yeah, we've... Uh, oh, we are out in force today on Britannia. Now we've got three in one shot here. So we've got the the circular towel trio, the Union flag at the top, and the English flag on the same balcony. The balcony wavers seem to be all located in the same area. The Union chappies are waving as well. Well done, shipmates. Good job. Let's have a look how close can we get perhaps people might recognize friends or family i'd say it's a better view from on top because it uh, sheltered on that balcony overhung oh. will that be tomorrow morning might be overhung and no, they're just hung over isn't it i must say that That is a pink, that is definitely a pink yacht. Hmm, curious. Let's see if we can spot any more waivers on Britannia. Let's see. Depart the port of Southampton. 
on her way for a Spanish and Portuguese cruise. Twelve nights. Seems a little unusual. Most of the cruises seem to be 14 nights or seven nights. Still see the circular towel. That's going well. Rust stain on, on the stern there, shipmates. Let's get uh, let's get a view of our netly cam. The uh, there we go. Yeah, the, the weather is definitely out. And again, one of my favourite ports registries, Port of Southampton. Yeah, they've got anyone waving on the stern of Britannia. Bar doesn't look as busy. I'd have to say Arvia looked busier in the bar area. Oh, uh, more wavers. Excellent. Seem to always have some waivers on the stern. There we go. Up on the top deck there on the stern. Great location. High visibility. Plenty of good arm action. Good quality waving there from the shipmates. There we go. Excellent stuff. RV is down at the lower end of Southampton Water, starting to make the turn towards Cap Shot. You can see the disco lights all illuminated up. Now our oh, Britannia is heading down to Southampton Water. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one, shipmates. It's been a while since we've had a, a double header. And they both left on time. It's excellent going, really, isn't it? Yes, I do wonder if that's the protest yacht, because that was pink. Looks like they're uh, connected together and overburdened with belongings. Hmm. Well, let's suppose they've got a AIS registry, have they? No. No, it seems it appears not. a few back with netly cam or munition can or so many cameras It'd be a tad confusing yeah, there's a few more ships to party next week and of course i will be live streaming from the top of Iona next Saturday at six o'clock. So if you haven't, do think about subscribing so that you all won't miss a thing going on there. It'll be a challenge of technology and captain's ability to live stream in a, in a public place, but it was, it was a new and exciting challenge for the channel. If you are on Iona next week, uh, do feel free to stop by and say hello or say ahoy, I should say. Um, you want to bring a, a rum based cocktail with you, the captain will be eternally grateful. Look at all those minis for export.
We potentially have the makings of a bit of a sunset. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, I'd just like to thank all the subscribers, the Patreon donors, the PayPal donors, anyone who's a member of the channel. Of course, the Blue Spanner crew for being there with all the information that the captain keeps forgetting. And I think I got away with it. I didn't call Aviva Aviva once. Just Ariva. Or maybe Arvia. Never mind. Remember, shipmates, next week, 6 o'clock, live streaming from the top deck of Iona. I shall continue following the ships. Until next time, shipmates.